Hey everyone, so this is my fourth installment in the series that I've been doing of um, Goodwill Outlet finds from two trips that I made recently. Um, so these all came from the same two trips and after totaling everything out, I paid about 30 cents a piece for these items. So I've been showing you things that I got over the last three weeks and this is going to be the fourth installment of that series. So I'm just going to jump right in and start showing you these finds. Um, the first one is this little Target bag. It is a really tiny, small, thin bag. It even comes with the uh, little, I think, yeah, the little wristlet part. Um, it's in like a faux crocodile kind of situation. Um, I think that Target has really classic bags that you can wear for years, and I just think that this is a great find for 30 cents. I can see myself, like, carrying this, you know, just to go to the grocery store or whatever or anywhere, really. So um, I'm always excited to find, like, Target bags that are in really good condition. Um, the next thing that I want to show you is this purple Everly dress. I know purple doesn't show up very well on the screen, so it may look blue or something. But uh, this, I'm pretty sure, is an Urban Outfitters brand. Oh, it looks very blue on the screen, but it's very, a deep, deep purple. Um, it has the lace-up detail in the front and this beautiful bell sleeve. It's such a current piece, and I just thought it was adorable, and I couldn't pass it up. I think that's an amazing find for $0.30. Cents. Um, the next thing is this macrame bag. I love 70s stuff. I love cream. I love fringe. I love macrame. I love everything about this. So this is perfect for me. It even has these beads that are like woven into the center of it. It has a smaller handle than a lot of macrame bags do. The inside is like new. I'm not sure that it's vintage. I think it probably is a newer bag. But I still really like it. I can, I know I will carry this in the summer. I have one that has like a very short little fringe on it. Um, and I make good use of that in the summer months. So. Um, okay, this is another Target item. It is a beret. I've been really back into berets lately. And this is like this deep, you know, it's hard to tell in the video, but it's a deep like hunter green color. And um, it'll be kind of slouchy on, and I think it'll be a really nice look for this winter. Okay, this is one of those items that I think was an absolutely incredible find for the Goodwill outlet. I have not decided if I'm going to keep it or sell it, um, but it is, it's faux leather, I'm pretty sure, though it feels really nice. Um... It is this big white bag, kind of like a creamy off-white bag, and it's big enough for a laptop. It has like several, if you can see this, several, it does have some makeup stains inside, but like several compartments, like it's big, and then these zip apart both sides to have compartments there and here. It's just a huge, huge, amazing bag. Um, and it's free people. So I can't even imagine how much this cost new. Probably, I mean, definitely well over $100. And I got it for $0.30. Cents. So very, very, very excited about this find. Um, this is a fun little thing that I found when I found that faux, or not, it's not faux, I'm sorry, the fur, uh, patchwork jacket which I showed you a few weeks ago um, I think it was in the second video and I found it had a couple places that needed to be fixed and I found this which I'm not sure if I'm going to use to fix it or if I'm going to just wear but it is a piece of uh, sampling so that you can see I think what type of um, like material that you're buying but it's faux fur and I just think if nothing else, I really will wear it like a little scarf. Um, it's super, super fun piece that you could do so much with. I mean, it would just, it's just incredible. It would make a great strap for a bag. It would make a great scarf. It would probably look pretty amazing around a hat. Um, 
So I'm probably just going to pin it onto things and wear it however I feel like. But I love this and I'm pretty excited about it. Okay. Um, the next thing is another macrame bag. Uh, this one is from Target. And, you know, like I said, I love a good Target bag. This one has long, long fringe, and I just absolutely love it. Can't wait to carry this in the summer. It's very me. My friend that I was with couldn't believe that I wanted this, but I can't believe anyone would not want this. I love it. So there's that. Okay. This is a weird skirt. My friend also didn't like this one. I don't really care. I like what I like. Um... This is just from Rue 21, and I will say that I know Rue 21 is very, very cheap. It's even cheaper than Forever 21. It's very much aimed at very young gr girls and guys, I think. Um, very cheap fabrics, very cheap cuts, but I frequently find things there. Um, I, I don't go to the mall very often, but when I do, I always stop in there because they have a $3 rack, and it tends to be things that were priced a little higher in the store originally and so they didn't get bought so I have all kinds of um things that come from there including kimonos I have two suede uh fringed skirts I have um fringed tops that I found on the three dollar rack and to me I will pay three dollars for something that I like that's new you know without much problem um this, of course, was 30 cents. It is faded. It's not new. And it's just a maxi skirt in this geo print. And I liked it because it had these two long slits in the front. And it kind of gives this, like, flap effect. Um, it is pretty tight fitting. But I just thought it was cool. And I could wear it with boots or whatever to the store. It doesn't have to be, like, a, you know, a fancy, fancy type of top. But... Um, I just like to style fun little things when I'm, you know, just running around town. So for 30 cents, I will gladly buy that. Um, okay. This is a big belt that I got and I really like it. So it's, um, it just says made in China and it has this big silver buckle thing on it. And then it's this type of silver, like a much brighter silver wide um, belt, it's braided faux leather. The thing that it kind of is weird about this is it has this really sharp, scary hook, which could definitely hurt you if like you somehow got this in your skin and not in the belt. So a little bit afraid of this, not sure like why um, why it was done that way, I guess, because it's just a really cheap belt but uh I don't know I just thought it was pretty cool for 30 cents um okay this is a skirt that originally was from JC Penney's um it's a maxi skirt by Alan B and I love this very 70s floral print it reminds me of curtains or something and I'm all about that and then the bottom has sequins so two things that I love um, they're a little weird paired together, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out because I like both of these things. So I um, thought that was definitely fine for 30 cents. Um, this is another bag that I really like. It is an Urban Outfitters bag. It's small, faux leather, but it is this tooled leather, if you can see. Um, and I just think it's really cute. I'll carry this all the time. It has a pocket in the back. These just flip up and it has two compartments there. So really cute. If I can find like Urban Outfitters bags and things like that that I like for 30 cents there, that is always a steal. Um, okay. This is a dress that I actually might sell and it needs to be ironed. So forgive that. But it is a purple elephant print caftan. It's blue on the screen, but it just has these elephants and things on it. And then the bottom has some fringe that's kind of gross. Um, but anyway, I just thought it was like a cool, comfy, big dress. I love caftans. Not sure I may sell this one. Uh, I don't know. 
know. We'll see. But I just thought it was fun. Um. This is a little 70s uh, basket purse. Um, my cat thinks it's a scratcher. The inside is wooden and um, it's just it's just cute. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or sell it. So if you're in love with it, let me know. But it's definitely an adorable little bag. Okay, I'm going to do... I'm going to do one more and then stop here. Um, this is a Charming Charlie, which I think they do sell at Urban, a scarf. And it's been, like, tied up already, but I'm going to figure out how I want to wear it. But I just thought it was a cool pattern. I really kind of want to tie it into a kimono type of a thing. So I thought it was really pretty for 30 cents. Um, so I'm going to stop there. All of that was... Less than $10, probably closer to $5. So that would be segment four of my um, thrifting at the Goodwill Outlet videos. So I will have another one for you next week.